In this video, I wanted to demonstrate some of the tools that are found in the Layers panel in PhotoDirector and create something creative like this. So I'm going to start with this photo and I'm going to right click on the background and duplicate it. And then I'm going to turn the main background layer off and we're going to work with this background copy. And the first thing that we're going to do is use the select area tool and we're going to choose the rectangle and we're going to make a copy of just the top edge of the photo because we're going to need it later because we're going to be moving this whole photo down and it's going to reveal the transparent background so we'll need to fill it in so click and drag click on the far left right about there and then just drag it while you're holding the mouse down, drag it upwards and then let go and then click the pick and move tool and then just click one of these anchor points on the end and just extend it just to make sure we got the whole thing. And then we want to do com Command or Control C to copy and then Command Control V to paste. and it pasted it on its own layer. So we can go ahead and turn that layer off, that strip that we just created. We won't need that till later. So come back down on your background copy and we're going to go ahead and start making selections of just the heads and moving them to the top part of the photo. So choose the select area tool and then come down and choose the ellipse tool and then just click and drag to make a circle and then instead of command control copy we're going to actually use the X key to cut it out so command or control X and then command V to paste And it puts it on its own layer right there. And then you'll see here in this layer there's a circle to indicate that it was cut out. And that allows us to keep track of who we've cut out. So come back down on that layer and we're going to do the next one. So come over here to make new selection. And then just do the same thing. Just click and drag like that and then command copy X to cut it out and then command V to paste it and hopefully that noise when I choose the command uh, X it makes a very loud noise on my end so hopefully it's not too annoying on your end and then we want to come back down to this layer. In fact, we can turn these layers off so it's not distracting. So come back down to the background copy and then we're going to do the next one. And we want to make sure that we choose make new selection and then come down over here and then just click and drag. And again, command X to cut it and command V to paste it. And there it is there. And then come back down here and make new selection. And just grab her. Don't worry about, well, I forgot to turn the layer with him on it, but he's on a separate layer, so he's not going to be a part of this selection. So Command X. And then Command V. So let's go ahead and turn both those layers off. And then I'm going to do the next one. So come back down to your background copy. Make new selection. And down here. And if you're not happy, I let go of the mouse and it finished the selection, but I'm not happy with it. So you can come up here and just click clear selection and make a new one. And if you mess that up, do it again. So I just wanted to show you that. So, Command X and Command V. 
And now for the last one, come down to the background copy, make new selection. Okay, so we have all of these selected, so we can go ahead and turn them all on. And we can actually delete this layer that has the cutouts. So right click and delete layer. And say yes. And we can turn our background layer on. So turn that on, and now we're going to start moving all these cutout, cutout heads up to the respective bodies. So let's start with the first one, which is layer two, and choose the pick and move tool. And it highlighted it. We can just move that up. And then let's enlarge it a bit. And then come down to your next one. And click and drag it. So I've gone ahead and moved all of the heads up to the top and I resize them. So you just click on it and drag it to the size that you want it to be. And the only other thing I'm going to do is flip some of these so they're horizontal. So this one, I'm going to flip it. So come up here to the flip layer. So I'm going to flip layer horizontally. And I'll leave that one, and I'm going to flip this one to click on it. And I'm going to flip this last one, too. And then you have to move them over. So I'm just going to move them all a little bit to the left. Make her a bit smaller, just a little more space. And now let's make them black and white. So we want to click on the adjust layer and click this preview with all layers and take your saturation level all the way to the left and it make him black and white and click OK. So do that for each one So I went ahead and finished them all, and so now we want to move this main photo down a bit. So right click on the background and duplicate the layer and turn your main background off. And then come up to this background copy and choose the pick and move tool. And then just grab on the photo and move it down. So, move it to right about there, I guess. Looks good. You can always move it again if it doesn't look good. And then now we want to come up here and turn this layer on. And that filled in that gap. So the next thing we want to do is come back to your background layer. So click on that, and now we want to choose the Shape tool. And make sure your color is on black. And we want to choose the rectangle shape. And then just click right here on the end here on the far left. As close to the edge as possible. Click and drag. And Go right about there, and it filled it in with black. 
then click the pick and move tool and just drag that to extend it a bit. And then we want to duplicate that layer, so click onto it and right click and duplicate the layer. And then click onto it once you see the hand and drag it up. something like that. So and let's move the bottom one down a bit because this circle here is overhanging. So click onto it. Move it down just a bit. And this circle is pretty high up so you might want to move that and then move it down a bit. You resize it. I'm just going to leave it for the sake of this tutorial, but you can fine tune it when you do your own. So, the last thing that we have to do is add our names. So, come up to the very top layer and click the text tool. And then just click above this person and start typing the name. Move that up a bit. And I'm going to keep that font that it defaulted to and the size and the color. So I'm just going to type the first name. And you can move it around where you need it to be. need to get the hand. We can move it. There we go. And then I just right click on that layer to duplicate it. So duplicate and then click onto it and move the duplicate over. And then I just highlight and type over the name. And then just keep going all along until you have all the names. So I went ahead and finished all the names and looks like that's it. We're finished. If you want to move this layer down a bit, like if you don't want his arm to be quite as chopped off, just move it down a bit to wherever you think it looks good. And you can merge all these layers if you want to, or leave them as they are to work on it at another time. And then you can just come up here and do export to save it as a JPEG or a PNG, or however you have it set up. Or do save selected photo as in it. You can save it as a PHI file. So that's it. I hope you like this tutorial.